Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venom Man 20 here today, and this is just a short little intro to the video that you are about to watch. Um, I just mainly wanted to say, if you're going to leave a comment underneath this video saying that the enclosures are too small, I don't really want to hear it because you clearly know nothing about alligators. Uh, with that being said, I've been keeping alligators for about 10 years now. I don't know it all, but I know quite a bit. I know that they are possibly one of the laziest reptiles in the world. They do almost nothing. Uh, they lay out on their basking spot, they don't move, um, only time they move is when it's feeding time or they want to go to the water. That's pretty much it. Uh, in the wild sometimes you see them swimming across the lakes or whatever moving from one spot to another. Uh, either they're going to another basking spot, they're going to look for food, or they've been chased out of the air area by another alligator. That's pretty much the reasons why they swim, move, go to different territories. You know, sometimes males go and search for females. That's why you'll find them inside garages and swimming pools. Otherwise, they just lay there and they do pretty much absolutely nothing. In the wild, a lot of times, in the winter time, like it is now, uh, they will dig a hole down into the mud, a small hole, maybe six foot, little oval shaped hole, deep down into the mud and just lay there all winter you know, uh, in hibernation, I guess you could call it. They're still awake, but they're just trying to stay warm enough so they don't freeze to death. So, in this video, this is all shot this of the winter time, so if you're trying to actually mock their winter uh, habitat, a very small enclosure is probably best. But these are instead of smaller enclosure, mainly because there's so many to care for. A lot of these are rescues from people that think that alligators make good pets, and the Lord knows they don't. Um, they just get entirely too big, and they are a dangerous animal. I mean, they're very calm and wild alligators. If you leave it alone, it'll leave you alone. But you know, they do have teeth. They can bite. Um, in this video, the largest alligator is only 15 years old. So take that into perspective if you're thinking about buying one. That shows you a foot a year is actually pretty truthful when people say that that's how fast they grow. Um, besides that, uh, these all these animals are kept at Riverside Reptile Ranch. It's now Riverside Wildlife Center, I do believe. I correct myself in the video and, and corrected by one of the people that worked there. But uh, it's down in Stanton, Missouri, right off the same exit as the Merrimack Caverns. Um, you should go check it out if you're ever vacationing down there or you live close to the area. Uh, it's definitely worth the visit. Um, but anyway, this first alligator that I'm sitting up next to talking about, his name is Zeus. He is about the biggest alligator in this pond. Uh, He's in there. He's a big old alligator. He was just a house pet. He was originally kept by some drug dealers, and he was found in St. Louis. He was about six foot long, kept inside the bathroom and the bathtub, right next to the cocaine, guarding all the cocaine, which I just think is crazy. But uh, he actually will beg for food. He's a very calm, very gentle, very placid alligator. But uh, all these are pretty calm. They're used to people, you know. But all these gators are the main enclosure which you can't see all of them because there's so many behind the cameraman and everything else uh, those most of all those are rescues um, the two gators outside the biggest one is 12 foot and the smaller one's his female she's not happy about me being there by the way if you can't tell she's probably close to 10 foot and uh, there's some big gators but um I'll go back and so the summertime and we will check out their summer enclosure which is pretty awesome you know fenced in lake slash pond area it's pretty tight so uh, if you really you know want to gripe about this video don't leave the comment because I really don't care uh, you know they're doing the best they can and it's a pretty dang good job it's a lot better than I've seen a lot of alligators kept in at least saying inside aquariums and stuff like that you know they actually got large ponds and they are somewhat a communal animal so it all works out them being caged together. But anyway, hope you all enjoy this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, share the video. Thank you for watching. <laughs> hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm the Man 20 here. I'm down here in Stanton, Missouri, which is in the central part of Missouri, uh, right off the exit for the Merrimack Caverns. And it was originally River Repti Reptile Ranch, and now it's, what's the name of your place? Riverside Wildlife Center. Riverside Wildlife Center. So, uh, we're inside the main gator pit. This is for the winter. Uh, of course, I can't stay outside because mid Missouri it's very cold. This guy right here, Zeus, one awesome big American alligator. As you can see, not a monster, pretty calm, especially for a size. I mean, look at him. But uh, anyway, they got all sorts of animals. We got gaboon vipers, rattlesnakes, cobras, just a little bit of everything tigers, lions. 
some place you should really check out. I'm good friends with the owner and uh, has some awesome animals. So anyway, got some more stuff to show you. Hope you all enjoy. So here at the ranch, the last thing you can see inside the summertime is these awesome American alligators. This guy's about 12 foot long, poundage unknown, not sure. He's freaking huge. Last but not least, people ask me if alligators make good pets. Do you want that inside your apartment? I mean, I know I do, but I'm weird. So uh, bear with me here. Um, don't forget to check out my Facebook page. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hope you all enjoyed this video. The link's directly below. Have a good night. Hey, one second before you go. Just wanted to tell you that inside this video, you couldn't see the whole cage. So yet again, I don't want to hear your comment about how small of a cage they are. But if you are taking care of any type of crocodile, remember, large caging is always better. Unless it's a small baby, then you could just stress it out. But uh, if you have a large alligator, you know, get it the right size cage. Uh, you know, these cages are pretty large, and summertime their cage is huge. So uh, don't forget to check out my other videos. And uh, just a little update, I will be at the St. Louis Reptile Expo uh, the 10th, which is this Sunday, March 10th, uh, 2013. I will be there about 9 a.m. to uh, 11 a.m. more than likely. Um, I'm not going to be there real long because I actually have to go to a friend's house and help him unpack some wild-caught black mambas adults so this is going to be real exciting but uh anyway that video will be coming so look forward to that subscribe so you don't miss out on that there will be a link directly underneath this video to check out my facebook page and also if you're going to the tinley park reptile expo i should be there that saturday of uh, i do believe it's the 16th so uh, make sure if you see me hit me up Last but not least, I have some t-shirts coming in. I'm going to have t-shirts made in a man 20 t-shirts. I will show them off in an upcoming video. If you're interested in these at all, leave a comment underneath here letting me know that you are because I'm not going to order, you know, 20 t-shirts if only one person wants them. So, uh, you know, uh, it's not a commitment saying that you're going to buy, but just let me know if, you know, if you're interested at all. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Y'all have a wonderful day.